Hello everyone, it's Dalton here. Welcome to Video Game Finals number 107. And in this video, I got a pretty good amount of stuff to show you guys, so let's go ahead and get started right into it. Alright, the first thing we got here, uh, our cousin actually gave Tyler and I a PS4 game because he uh, just recently sold his PS4 to his roommate, and uh, so he didn't really have a use for this game anymore, and his roommate didn't want this game, so he gave it to us, which I thought was really cool. And that is a copy of Dark Souls 3 which has the uh, slipcover on it, it's the day one launch edition, uh, which is really cool. He took really good care of this, he really takes care of his games, so it's really cool. Um, but this thing is in absolutely beautiful condition, it has all the stuff in it, it has the uh, CD and everything, so it's really, really cool. So that was really cool of him to just give us a PS4 game, I thought that was awesome. So, very cool, that's definitely going in the collection, that's awesome. Alright, and then for the video's title this time, uh, the reason it is is because of this lot right here that I won off of eBay. Um, I'll go ahead and say what I paid for it afterwards. Uh, but this was a really, really cool lot. And I really specifically wanted to get this lot so Tyler could get this PS2, which he absolutely loves. It's absolutely cool. So here's the PS2 right here. It is a fat PS2 here, regular PS2. It's a 3001 model. Uh, so first edition, basically. But it has this blue top on it. It has a flip top on it, which is really, really cool. Um, it opens up on the top here. This was mainly used for modding, which is why it has a flip top on it. Um, but the case itself, the just in general, just to have a blue shell like that, is really, really cool. And that's Tyler's favorite color. So that's really, really cool. I thought this was an awesome find on eBay. Um, I hadn't seen these shells before and like installed already onto a PS2. I had never seen that. Uh, so to find one pre-installed like this, I thought that was really, really cool. So definitely unique. Um, it's one of a kind, I'd say. Because um, you just don't see a whole lot of PS2s like this with the custom shell on it. So that was really, really cool. So there's the console. And it also came with uh, two sets of AV cords here and a power cord, which is nice. So it's got a full setup of cords there and an extra. And then it came with four controllers here. We've got a black one here, which unfortunately does not work. I marked it with a sticky note there. Um, but it's in basically brand new shape, but it just doesn't work correctly. So that's unfortunate. Uh, but there's that one. But it also came with a clear smoke controller, which is really nice. Works perfectly fine. Then it came with an oceanic blue, which is the one Tyler wants to keep with it because it's, you know, favorite color is blue. So that's, you know, perfectly a match right there. So very cool. So there's that one. That one's like brand new as well, which is nice. And then it also came with an oceanic blue PS1 controller, which is really cool. Um, I'm not sure if it's actually called oceanic, but it's the, it's the clear blue one. But... Really cool. So there's four controllers there. At least three of the four work, so that's good. And it also came with a stack of 12 games. Uh, there's one PS1 game and 11 PS2 games. All right, and they're all in alphabetical order, so I'll go ahead and show them in that way. Um, also, there's one PS2 game in here that I will be keeping for the collection. So anyway, here we go. The first one here is just a disc only. It's the PS1 game, but it's a copy of Silent Hill on PS1, which is really cool. Uh, the disc is a little scratch. It skips a little bit, so I'm going to have to get it resurfaced. Uh, but other than that, it works perfectly fine. Um, it's really cool because, you know, it's hard to find Silent Hill games. But, it has, as I said, it just came in this blank. Uh, it's a disc only came in this blank uh, DVD case. So, not bad, though. It's really cool that that was in there. All right, and then this is the one I will be keeping for the collection. I have the first one, but now here's the second one, which is really cool. It's a copy of Dark Cloud 2, which is in really good shape. Uh, the disc is a little scratched, but it's not terrible. But other than that, it's in really good shape, complete, which is really nice. So, there's that one. Then we got a copy of Devil May Cry 3, Dante's Awakening, Special Edition. Greatest Hits version, but that one is 100% complete, in very nice shape. Then we got a copy of Dynasty Warriors 2, with a really bad water damaged insert, which I'm going to throw away because it has mold on it. Uh, the disc is fine, there's no manual, but I'm going to throw away the insert because it's completely water damaged, has mold on it, which is really bad. Um, so that's going to be tossed out, but other than that, the disc looks pretty good, so there's that. Then we've got a copy of Final Fantasy X. It has a reprinted artwork insert on it, or in the case, excuse me. It's missing the manual, but the disc looks pretty good. Um, but for what it is, it still looks pretty good for the uh, reprint label there, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then we got a copy of Final Fantasy XII, which is in pretty good shape as well. That one is complete, so very cool. Then we've got a copy of God of War, which is also in pretty good shape. That one is 100% complete. Then we've got a copy of God of War 2, which is the two-disc set. It's always been released that way. Uh, this one's missing the manual, but it's got the bonus disc and the game disc there. So there's that. P 
pretty nice shaped case otherwise, so that's really cool. Oh, this one also I'm going to be keeping. I didn't have this one either. I have a case and manual for it, but no game, but I'll just completely get rid of that because this is a complete copy right here, and it's Legaia 2 Dual Saga, which is in really, really nice shape. Uh, very clean condition, very nice disc. Really happy to see this in there as well, so that was very cool. And then we also have a copy of Onimusha Warlords right here, which is in very good shape as well. And that one is also 100% complete. All right, and these last two... Uh, unfortunately, these have laser burns on the discs, which means that they can't necessarily be fixed because that ruins the data on the game itself. So unfortunately, these games are going to have to be tossed, but I can keep the cases and manuals for now. Um, one of them I was going to keep, but since it's, you know, burned on to the, you know, there's like a laser burn on it, I can't get it fixed. But anyway, the first one here is Tekken Tag Tournament, which is in good shape otherwise than the disc being burned. I mean, everything else is in pretty good shape, but there's that one. And this one was the one I was going to keep, uh, and this one's in mint shape other than the disc, and that is Warriors 2 Orochi, or Warriors Orochi 2. There you go. It's Warriors Orochi 2, which, again, very nice shape, but the disc is burned, so I can't really do anything with the disc, but the case and manual are in great shape. So, other than that, it's not a huge loss. Uh, for the entire setup with the PS2 and the controllers and all the games... Oh, wait, there's two more things here, sorry. I also have two of these multi-taps, which one was not listed in the listing, but the, you know, there was one already, uh, but they tossed in an extra one, which is pretty cool. Um, these are basically just bonuses. I already have a couple myself, so I'll just be tossing these in with PS2s, uh, but they both work fine, which is good, so that's cool. So anyways, now what I was saying was, with the whole setup there with the PS2 and the controllers and all the games and stuff, it was only $52 after shipping, which is an absolutely incredible deal. I was not expecting to get that whole setup for that cheap, especially with all those games, the custom PS2, everything. I thought that was absolutely astonishing. So very cool setup right there. I thought that was awesome. So Tyler really enjoys that PS2. I think that's cool. So awesome. All right, now we'll go ahead and get into the local stuff. All right, throughout the week, I found some stuff from our local ARC thrift store. Uh, two different trips, as a matter of fact, but I'll just go ahead and show it all in one bundle. We have here a Wii um, Wiimote here. The controller, basically, just, you know, nothing special about it. It's got the wrist strap and no uh, cover. Uh, it's got the battery cover on it, which is nice. Um, this was only two bucks, so that's very cool. Um, very clean condition, nothing, you know, no corrosion or anything in it, which is nice. So that's always good. And it worked fine, so that's good. Then we've got four PS2 AV cords here and a round round power cord that I can use for original Xboxes, which is really nice. So all those cords were a dollar a piece, so very cool. Definitely good pickups right there. All right, and then a few uh, days after that, I think it was, I went to the same arc again and I found three games. I got a PS1 game here and two Wii games. So the first thing here I'll show is a PS1 game, and that is Duke Nukem Total Meltdown. Um, it is water damage, which is unfortunate, uh, but the disc looks brand new but it has everything in there that it should. The disc looks great. So very cool. Three bucks. It was not a bad deal at all. So that's very cool. Uh, and then these two Wii games were $3 a piece as well. We got a copy here of Super Mario Galaxy, which is in very, very good shape. 100% complete, which is nice. And then we got a copy of Wii Sports Resort, which is in pretty good shape on the outside. Unfortunately, it's missing the manuals and stuff, and the disc is a little scratched, but it works perfectly fine. Uh, so three bucks a piece for the games. I thought that was a pretty good deal. So not bad. All right, and now we've got four consoles here that I just recently picked up from Goodwill, and uh, a couple of these actually had games in them, but I'll get to that here in a second. Uh, but what we have here is a white Nintendo Wii console here, which is in very very nice shape. I thought that was really cool. Um, a little scratched, but that's common, so that's not bad. Uh, but there's the console. And then it came with all this stuff right here. It came with Two Wii motes, two nunchucks, the power cord and the AV cord. Uh, no sensor bar, but I've got extras of those, so that's not a big deal. Um, but this Wii actually came with a bonus game, so we'll go ahead and cut to that clip right now so you guys can go ahead and see what was inside that Wii. Alright guys, so here is one of the Nintendo Wiis that we got from Goodwill. So it's already lit up, so that's a good start. So now we'll go ahead and see if there's something inside of it. That doesn't sound good. I don't know what that sound is, but... There was something in it, though. It had a Wii Sports, which is good. That's uh, pretty basic, but... A few smudges and stuff, but that's a good bonus game. 
Uh, I'm not too sure what the sound effect is. These, these Wii's are really weird. Sometimes I'll get a Wii and it just sounds really awkward. Um, but I'm not sure if this console is going to work fully or not, but at least it had a bonus game in it, so... Uh, pretty nice copy of Wii Sports, so very cool. So, now I'll go ahead and head back to the main video. Alright guys, so there's the bonus game there. It is a copy of Wii Sports. Actually, really good shape after I got the uh, smudges off of it, which is nice. Um, but yeah, it was nice to see a bonus game in there. It's cool, especially since it's Wii Sports. It's a good set, you know, basic set to put with, you know, a full Wii setup, I guess. Uh, so that was really cool. So definitely awesome. All right, and then I got another white Nintendo Wii, which this one actually had the stand for it, which is cool. And this one's in a little bit better shape. Now it's scratched up, uh, but there's that. And it came with... All of this stuff right here, we've got two more nunchucks, two more Wiimotes, and all cords. The power cord, AV cord, and sensor bar. So this one was a full setup as well, except for the last one didn't have the sensor bar, but that one was an actual full setup, which is really nice. So very, very cool. All right, and then again, another Nintendo Wii, and this one is the best looking one of the three. All three of them had the top uh, doors, which is really nice. Uh, but this one is actually really, really nice. This one was hardly used at all. Um, and it's nice because all three Wiis uh, work perfectly, so that's really cool. Uh, but this console actually came with um, all the setup once again. There's only one Wiimote here. There's no nunchuck, but that's okay. Uh, came with aftermarket AVs and then a sensor bar with the Wii Speak attachment to it, which would be used for like Animal Crossing and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and hang on to this because I don't have one yet. So that's very cool that that was in there. Uh, but at least it had the full setup, which is really cool. And then it came with all the original console manuals here, which is really, really nice. So that's cool. And then this one also had a bonus game in it as well. So I'll go ahead and switch to that clip so you guys can see what was inside this console. Alright guys, so here is another Nintendo Wii that we got from Goodwill. So it is already lit up, so that's a good start. So now we'll go ahead and see if there's something inside of it. Sounds like there is, so let's go see. Go ahead and see what it is. It is Just Dance, which is not a fantastic game, but it is in brand new condition. So, I mean, I guess that's better than nothing, but the Wii is in fantastic shape itself, so that's to be expected, a kind of game like that. So, all right, very cool, bonus game. Nothing spectacular, but still pretty cool. All right, now we'll head back to the main video. Alright guys, so there it is. It's a copy of Just Dance. Nothing spectacular, but the disc looks brand new, like it was just taken out of the case and put into the console right after I got it. So, it was really, 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 or right before I got it, excuse me, but like this is a really good co uh, copy of the game, which uh, it's not worth anything, but you know, to see brand new discs like that is pretty cool. It tells you how well they took care of the console and everything else. So, very cool that there was a bonus game in there. I thought that was awesome. So cool. Alright, and the last console I got from Goodwill is a black slim PlayStation 2 here which is very nice it had never been opened up before very very clean console after I cleaned up it was just a little dusty but nothing terrible um, but very cool very nice clean condition hardly any scratching to it so that was really cool to see that um, and that came with the power brick here no AV unfortunately but I just showed you that I got four of them so I can go ahead and put one of those with it um, and then it came with a basic black controller unfortunately this one again is not working like the other one I showed you the other black one I showed you with the eBay lot um, some reason a lot of these black ones don't work very well uh, they just tend to break over time which is unfortunate but anyway I got extra controllers so I can go ahead and you know complete this PS2 and it will be perfectly fine so uh, before the four consoles I got from Goodwill it was a total of $88 which I thought was a really really good deal um, after I added up all the extras and stuff, I said I paid $20 a piece for the consoles, and then all the extras were $8, like the extra Wii modes and stuff that were bundled together with all these other Wii sets. So, not a bad deal at all. I thought that was pretty cool. So, awesome. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing, and telling your friends. It really helps us out. We really love seeing you guys come back every single time to see what we got in store for you guys. Um, it's really awesome to see you guys come back and you know, sharing your friends and, you know, just getting more people involved. It's really cool to see that. So, uh, we enjoy finding this stuff for you guys. We love to go out and find all the games and, you know, clean them up and show them on YouTube and everything. It's really cool. So, thank you guys so much for sticking around. And happy gaming, as always. And we'll see you in the next video. See you later, guys. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth. Working hella hard till they put me in the dirt. Gonna go far, man, listen to my words. Gonna be a star.